hello guys welcome back to good show tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix call of duty modern warfare 2 is having screen flickering and widescreen flash issue on a pc and how we can successfully fix this up so let's dive into it so if you're for the first time to our channel then don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification so let's move to the steps without wasting any time so the first one what you have to do is you just have to roll back the graphic drivers that is what you have to do if you're doing this for the first time that means your existing graphics card is the reason i mean very recently updated one so you have to roll back it for that you just have to go over here in here in the start you have to right click and you just have to navigate to device manager or you can either search for device manager here and you can go for it so i'll do with the start right click over here directly scroll uh, navigate to device manager now from here you just have to do is you just have to go over here in the display adapters now from here you have to select the respective one now you just have to right click and go to properties now from here click on the driver and as you can see there is an option called roll back driver so you have to roll back it in most cases when you're having this trouble just go for roll back the driver so here i'm not doing but you have to do this so once you're done with the rollbacking the driver the next is all about you have to go to the official if you're on the nvidia you have to make sure that your system is running on the nvidia then you just have to go to the nvidia official website and if it is running on the amd you have to go to the amd so what you have to do is i'll be going to here so which i'll be providing a link in the description that will take you to the nvidia like this now as you can see here you'll be getting few options which you have to fill for example your product type you have to give geforce and you have to give the product series which one is yours you have to give the respective one and the product you have to give the appropriate one you will be having many options simultaneously the operating system you'll be having the options for windows 10 64 bits 11 linux and many more so select if you're on 10 go for this one and if you're on the 11 go for windows 11 and once it is all done if you go for search here i have already searched parallelly i'm having one i'll show you the same just go for it and go for start search so when you give the start search what happens is they'll be showing you some of the results like this so these are the available driver results right now so as you can see the geforce game ready driver over here as you can see which is 526.47 simultaneously we are having 522.30 and we are having 522.25 and we are having 522.25 so what happens is this is the latest one as you can see this driver version is the latest one that is october 27 2022 which is few days back right so not few days back but even a little bit back so what you have to do is you just have to download this one that means you have to roll back your driver from the existing one to either 522.25 or 517.48 so if you're getting 517.48 you can uh, change to you can download that and if it is 522.25 you can download this one so once you download you have to install this so i'll click over here on the download so what happens is i'll be able to download a uh, .exe like this as you can see a .exe is getting downloaded so this is going to take a little bit of time because it's around 802 mb so uh, my wi-fi is a little bit slow so having the trouble so once it is successfully done you just have to open this you will be getting an option go for open when done just install this .exe once after you're done with this one you just have to close this go to the steam navigate to the library and try to play the game and most probably you'll not be having the issue here after this is the first and foremost step rolling back the graphic drivers either to 517 or 522 has fixed many of the bugs so just do this after trying this if it's still not working and you're having the trouble we have to move to the next one next one is all about you have to run the game on dedicated graphics card for that you just have to go over here in the search and you have to search for graphic settings go over here in the graphic settings and if you go to the graphic settings you'll be getting an option like this okay now you just have to click on the browse okay so here you have to select where the game is installed actually so here i'm having a little bit of doubt on where the game is installed but even though i'll try to navigate it but you have to know where the game is installed if it is in local c go for it if it is d go for it if it is e just go for it so i'll go for c now i'll go to program files 86 and i'll scroll down and navigate to steam now you just have to scroll down a little bit i think i'll be having 
uh, Steam apps, I think. I have to open this. So I have to click on common. Now I am having two options Call of Duty HQ. Select this one. And now I have to select the .exe. As you can see, the application is the largest one. I mean, the KB. That means this is the .exe. So you have to select this. Go for add. Now, as you can see, the Call of Duty is being added over here. So now the next is I have to run the game on the dedicated graphics card. For that, you just have to click on the options. Now set from here, let Windows decide. You have to change this to high performance and go for save. Once you successfully done, you just have to close this, navigate to Steam, sorry, and try to play the game. And most probably the issue has to be fixed. Even after trying, if it's still not working, we have to go to the next one. That is all about, you have to run the game on dedicated graphics card. As I said earlier, it is done. You have to do is you just have to update the windows. For that, you just have to minimize this one. Let's directly navigate over here in the search. As you can see, it is done settings. Now from here, navigate to windows update. And over here, as you can see, and updates available to download so you just have to go for any kind of download if you're having any download just update i mean you just have to download it after it's successfully downloaded you just have to install it that is what you have to do or parallelly you have to make sure that you are on the latest version as you can see it is latest version you are up to date on the time of today it is up to date so i'm not having the issue so if the os is a little bit old you will be having the trouble so it is very important that you have to update it once it is done, you just have to close this and you have to go back to the next one. Next one is all about you have to go to the Steam and you have to verify the game files. For that, you just have to go to the library and select the game, right click and navigate to properties. Now just go for local files. And as you can see, there is an option called verify integrity of game files. So you have to click on this one. So this is actually going to help you guys out because if any files are corrupted, they will be fixing from their end and this is actually helping a lot when it comes to fixing all these kind of issue and i'm suggesting this and you have to wait until it is 100 percentage and once it is done you can close this then try to launch the game and most probably the issue regarding this that means the call of duty issue regarding the call of duty modern warfare 2 the screen flickering and white screen flash issue will be completely fixed and you will not be having the trouble hereafter and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.